Today in the news, we got Microsoft. Yep, whether it's uh, Windows 11 or driver signing with malware inside, Microsoft has been pretty active this last week. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. So, let's get started with Microsoft. Last week, we saw the leak of their upcoming OS, Windows 11. In my video about it, I felt as though it was kind of just a reskin with maybe two or three extra features. Well, I was wrong. It's a reskin of Windows 10 with maybe four or five extra features, like groups where you can mix and match different apps, a center snapping feature, which I guess is a thing, great for ultra wides, an Android app integration, and better support for docking your laptop. It will kind of save and remember the place of everything that you had on your second screen before you unplug it. On the other side of things though, Windows 11 already riled up a bunch of people, but the company is at least responding to the public pretty fast. First, when failing to install Windows 11, the OS just used to tell you this PC can't run Windows 11 and that it didn't meet the system requirements. Now you can either download the PC health check from Microsoft, which will check compatibility for you while you're in Windows 10, or it will give you more info while you're installing it. It will at least tell you why it doesn't work. Maybe it's because you don't have enough storage. Maybe you don't have a, you know, secure boot enabled, or maybe you don't have a TPM 2.0 chip in your system. Yep, that last requirement is a bit of a kick in the nuts. TPM 2.0's security module caused a bit of a ruckus online. You see, TPM 2.0 is built into the CPU these days. It's just a matter of going into your BIOS, finding the FTPM setting for AMD or PTT setting for Intel and enabling it. That means that officially, you would need at least an eighth gen Intel CPU or a Ryzen 2000 CPU to be able to have a TPM 2.0 module. Those are pretty recent CPUs. And let's be real, a CPU usually stays in a gamer system for a lot longer than the GPU, which means that this four years of support, yeah, it's pretty short and bad. My trusty Ryzen 7 1700X that I bought four years ago, or a 7700K, for example, that you bought would not be compatible for Windows 11. That kind of sucks, but at least you can kind of get around that if you buy a separate TPM 2.0 module to be installed on your motherboard. It's called a discrete TPM module. It's a little chip that will plug to a very specific header on your motherboard to enable the extra security that the TPM chip provides. And it's pretty cool because it's only about $13. Or at least it was, because guess what? Scalpers are striking again. The prices of TPM modules have spiked drastically from about $13 to something like 40 and up, even sometimes going up to 90 bucks depending on the brand. And Windows 11 isn't officially coming anytime soon to the normal retail market, which means these prices might go up. Speaking of which, when will Windows 11 be available? Well, so far, all we got from Microsoft is that it will be out in the holiday of this year. This usually means around November, but the company seems to be hinting at an October release instead, at least in these specific cases, like this message here saying, turn it up to 11 and can't wait for October. And these promo materials right here where the date is set to October 20th at 11.11. But that seems to be only for pre-builds that will ship with the operating system built in or for people who bought it outright, like a retail version of uh, Windows 11. According to a tweet from the Windows account itself, Windows 11 is even further away for folks like me and you who might want to upgrade using the free upgrade path for Windows 11. For that, we'll have to wait until the first half of 2022. Next up, if you were waiting for console features to come to Windows, well, you're in luck. The DirectX 12 Ultimate feature that allows direct communication between storage and GPUs, AKA direct storage, it is coming to Windows. And it is coming to Windows 11 and will be exclusive to that version. Yep, after being teased for coming to Windows 10 for the better part of the last year, uh, Direct Storage API gets locked behind an upgrade path. Nice. 
And lastly, in Microsoft news, the company had a pretty horrible driver related mishap, or should I say a total lack of security awareness. The company was signing drivers that had rootkit malware embedded into it. Yep, a malware just to spy on people, at least, and curiously, I mean, actually it's not very curious, it seems like the spread of this malware is limited to gaming clients and limited to China. Something tells me that uh, Microsoft might have known about this for a little longer than, you know, they lead to believe. And that's pretty much it for the catch up guys. It's all windows every day. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one.